right now. Oh, you are recording. What do you see? I see a hot, sexy husband. So you're watching a video of Brad Pitt. Is that it? <laughs> okay, how much of me do you see? All of you. All of me? How horrible. Okay, now, at some point, well, maybe I'll come to you, but I want now to, my hands to be the main thing. So, they you are. see my fingers? You see the triangle my fingers are making? I do. Okay, groovy. So here we go. So, <clears throat> I had this idea about explaining the electrical double layer and, more importantly, the idea of activation over potential. We electrochemistry geniuses, we often talk about activation over potential. And I was just happened to be thinking about it, and here's a great analogy. Now, this is, at this point, I'm explaining this at a rather advanced level. I can fill in the details later. So, this, this is a voltage axis here. With negative voltages is up and positive voltages is down. This is the way we genius electrochemists like to do it. <laughs> now, this right here, let's see, where do I want it? Yeah, this right here is the voltage defined by the Nernst equation, speaking of geniuses, by the Nernst equation uh, for a redox couple in this solution. We electrochemists like to say, ox plus an electrons gives you red. So it's the an, ele an electron reduction of ox, okay? And the Nernst equation, if you know the concentration of ox and red in the solution, the Nernst equation defines a solution voltage. It's right here, okay? Now I'm going to take an electrode and I'm going to put it, in, and this is an electrolyte solution, by the way, and I'm going to put it in contact with that solution. And I'm going to define a thing we electrochemists like to call the potential zero charge. And I'm just going to say when this thing hits that solution, it goes to the potential zero charge. Now here's the more relevant thing. To do this reduction, you've got to get way up here at a negative voltage. Remember, this is a voltage axis. So to do this reduction, you've got to get way up here at this negative voltage. And I arbitrarily said the potential zero charge is down here at this more positive voltage. So, if I want to reduce this ox, I've got to get the Fermi level of the metal up here. Then electrons can go across. You see the concept? Mm -hmm. So, initially I'm at the potential zero charge, and I'm not going to be able to give electrons up to this solution state until I get up here in energy. How do I do that? I make the voltage negative, meaning I put excess electrons on the metal and I raise the Fermi level. Making the voltage more negative, raise the Fermi level. But still I can't, you can see I keep moving things on you, but still I can't reduce it. It's not negative enough. Okay? So I go, all right, make it more negative, more excess electrons. By the way, the electrical double layer is now forming because there are excess electrons on the metal. That means excess cations from this electrolyte Got to remember, I told you there was an electrolyte. X cationic charge accumulates up against the electrode surface. So now you've got the electrical double layer. That's where the electrical double layer comes from. All right, now here we go. So finally, I get the solution of the electrode's Fermi level negative enough that electrons can go. Oops, it ain't that simple, Jack. There are activation barriers. There's an activation energy you got to get over. So even though the levels are the same, the two heights of my uh, fingers, not the upper fingers, the bent fingers, even though they're the same, electrons won't go from here to here because of this damn activation barrier. Now, here's how we get activation over potential. We got to make the electrode more negative. Now look. I want you to pay attention to the length of this finger, right here. When we were at that mythical state when the energies were the same and we recognized there was an activation barrier, the height of that activation barrier was the entire length of my finger. So what do I do? Activation over potential. I make the electrode potential more negative. Look 
at the length of the finger that got cut off. Now it only has to go up that, that far. Make it more negative, oh, it doesn't have to go up nearly as far. You see my point? It's that length right there is how far it's got to get over. Finally, it gets above that. Now we got some real activation over potential because it should have gone there, but we're way up here now before the electrons can finally get across. That's your activation over potential. It's the energy above, in fact, the potential of zero charge needed to get, that, uh, to get those electrons to go across that activation barrier. So there's a simple visual uh, demonstration of, of, first, how the double layer forms. Second, the concept that even though we're at the same voltage, electrons won't go because of this damn activation barrier. And finally, the idea that by raising the electrode more negative, you cut off that part of the activation barrier, making it easier for electrons to get from there to there. Conceptually, then ultimately you get above that, and there's no activation barrier at all. And now electrons can just roll happily down here, and there's your activation over potential right there. You see it? That distance right there is the activation over potential. I see it. There we go.